This is our final uh, look at quadratics in the, the gap between GCSE and A level. And what I'm going to do is look at uh, solving some equations with fractions in them. It's, uh, we'll do some basic ones to start with. Now, the way in which you should be going about to trying to solve quadratic equations, first thing you say to yourself is, have we got it so easy that it's going to be something like so, x squared minus 49 is equal to zero. If you have, simply add the 49 to both sides and square root. That is your ideal um, example of the easiest possible quadratic. Others will already be factored for you, so you might be given x minus 2, x minus 3 is equal to zero, and you just have to solve, and that's just a case of evaluating. There'll be other examples where you're given, for example, uh, 2x squared minus x is equal to 0, where we don't have a constant term. We simply take an x out and we have 2x minus 1. So our solutions are x are equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 equals 0 and x is equal to half. The other scenario is when we've got a coefficient, for example, x squared minus x uh, minus 12 equals 0. Again, in the correct form, ax squared plus bx plus c. And we need to factor this. The coefficient is 1, and we get x plus 3. x minus 4 is equal to 0, with x being plus, my, uh, plus 4, negative 3. The other scenario is when we get, um, for example, the coefficient on the x squared is not 1, and we get 2x squared minus uh, 3x plus 1, and then we look at that a the AC method that we've done for that. If you realise that you can't factor, you've then got two choices. One, a quadratic formula or quadratic equation, which is what we've looked at, where you feed it in. So you just assign an A, a B, and a C value, and we write minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A which is an, a formula that you should begin to try and remember rather than refer to it in the, the book all the time. Or we complete the square, which we've looked at before. So we end up having uh, P and then X plus Q all squared plus R. And then we solve that. We set that to zero and solve. So here's your hierarchy. If it's that easy, just simply square root both sides. Sometimes it will be factored for you. Sometimes it will just have no constant where you factor. Sometimes you'll have um, a, a simple straightforward coefficient of 1. Sometimes you won't. And if you can't seem to factor it, the equation and completing the square will always work. Generally, we give our answers in exact form. So, for example, if I now come up to have something factored, such as x plus 2 all squared, this is in completed square form, minus 6 is equal to 0, then I add 6 to both sides, x plus 2 all squared is equal to 6, x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus the root of 6, which is a third, and then x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus root 6. So that is in its exact form, and we would say that is an exact solution, minus 2 plus root 6, and minus 2 minus root 6. Don't decimalise things. You're losing A, V, uh, accuracy, and to some extent the beauty of those numbers. OK, we're going to move on to some basic algebraic fractions. What we're going to do is solve these equations. So the first one, we've got x over x plus 4 plus 1 over x is equal to 3 quarters. All I'm going to deal with is this uh, left-hand side. We're just going to ignore the right-hand side for now. I'm going to combine these fractions. The lowest common multiple will be the product of the two. Product means the, the, them being multiplied. I'm missing the x off this side, so I need to multiply all of this side by x, so it becomes x squared. I'm missing the x plus 4 from this side, so it becomes x plus 4. Okay, So 1 times x plus 4 is plus x plus 4. We can now bring back our three quarters. If we multiply both sides by the denominator and multiply both sides by the 4, what we'll end up with is 4, the quantity on the uh, left-hand side, x squared plus x plus 4. And that's going to equal 3 and then x and then x plus 4. 
we now need to solve this and look in there's nothing that we can uh, cancel in terms of the numbers don't be tempted to cancel these x's so we can have 4x squared plus 4x plus 16 is equal to 3x squared plus 12x so subtracting the 3x squared from both sides we get x squared subtracting the 12x from both sides we get minus 8x and then we've got the plus 16 and that's now equal to 0 so we've got a very straightforward quadratic to solve x minus 4 all squared which of course is going to equal 0 so x minus 4 if we think about x minus 4 all squared it's just saying x minus 4 x minus 4 so our solutions are going to be x is equal to 2 okay and if we look at this it, again this is what we call a, a perfect square and if we looked at a graphical representation of that then what we'd have is simply a translation of four units to the right and we'd have the quadratic like so we'll be looking at graph transformations in the videos so here's your root here at four comma zero and it's touching it's what we call a repeated root and this point here is zero comma sixteen now when x is naught. So if that's the main crux of algebraic fractions, you combine the two and then simply multiply both sides and solve the quadratic. So we've looked at the techniques to solve it. We've looked at a slight bit of extension here, and this is something that you can uh, get going on. If you want to uh, have a go at some of these and drop me a note with your answers, I'll happily go through each one with you. Um, so there we go, that's it. And what we'll do in the next video is move on to combining simultaneous equations where we've got a linear and a nonlinear equation.